Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Lourdes. Hello, Maria. Hello, Edson. Hello, David. Hello, Adonai. Hello, Roxana, Enrique, Wilber, Elena, Daniel. Welcome. Hello, Douglas. It's a pleasure to have you here, my dear participants. Uh, tonight, we are going to start the section number five, okay? So uh, I just want to give you some notifications and I will say them in Spanish for you to make sure that all of us are in the same chapter uh, about the advances, okay? Eh, vamos a dar algunas pequeñas indicaciones en español para saber que todos estamos en, el mismo, eh, en la misma sintonía, ¿verdad? Eh, ustedes recibieron este día a través del WhatsApp una notificación de inglés corporativo en donde se nos reitera ¿Verdad? Que en esta oportunidad el curso va a finalizar de manera completa el día jueves. A veces hemos tenido hasta día viernes, inclusive a veces sábado para completar algunas cosas, pero eh, el detalle es que en esta oportunidad pues ya estamos avecinándonos al final del año y nos gustaría pues avanzar un, un curso más con ustedes y para lograr eso solamente eh, lo podemos hacer comenzando el próximo lunes, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué necesitamos hacer para comenzar el siguiente módulo el próximo lunes? Completar el jueves, ¿verdad? Eh, porque eh, si no hemos completado al 100% en la plataforma, en el sistema, eh, aparecemos pendientes, ¿verdad? Ustedes aparecen pendientes y entonces Insafor no nos permite la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Entonces, that's why, por esa razón, ¿verdad? Les pedimos de manera muy puntual y, eh, ¿verdad? Que por favor... Eh, podamos completar eh, el examen incluso el día jueves, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Eh, yo quisiera escuchar si hay alguien que está teniendo dificultades todavía con algunos ejercicios de las secciones previas, 3 y 4. Eh, yo he estado trabajando con algunos de ustedes en el WhatsApp, resolviendo, ¿verdad? Algunas cositas. Eh, y me gustaría que, eh, que podamos eh, ver... ¿Verdad? Si hay algo todavía pendiente, pues poderlo resolver, ¿verdad? La mayor brevedad. Because today we are going to start section number five. Ahora comenzamos la sección cinco. And we will go working uh, step by step every knowledge check to make sure that all of us are in the same page. Y vamos a ir trabajando, ¿verdad? Eh, todos los ejercicios de la sección cinco y el día jueves nos vamos a asegurar que todos hemos finalizado. Okay, uh, do you have some uh, pending issues? Tenemos algunos asuntos pendientes todavía que quieran que los veamos ahora en la, de la plataforma, de los ejercicios, porque este es el momento, ¿verdad? I'm going to share the platform. Vamos, estamos compartiendo ya lo que sería la vista de la plataforma para que ustedes me indiquen, teacher, tal ejercicio no lo he podido resolver. Sin pena, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que somos una comunidad de aprendizaje and we are learning from each other y estamos aprendiendo uno de otro. Ok, no questions, ya no hay preguntas. No, todo bien. Ok, I want to thank you and congratulate you because you have been so supportive with your classmates and you have been helping others to uh, improve. Quiero felicitarlos, ¿verdad? Y agradecerles porque sí, pues han sido algunos de ustedes muy empáticos y han sido miembros de una verdadera comunidad de práctica al compartir, ¿verdad? Algunas respuestas, al orientar a sus compañeros. I appreciate that, lo aprecio mucho, lo agradezco, ¿verdad? Eh, porque, pues, eh, remember that today we are in the knowledge sharing and technology eh, Ira, ok. Estamos en la era del compartir conocimiento y la tecnología, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, de esa manera nos apoyamos unos a otros y aprendemos. Ok, so, uh, having this clear, teniendo esto claro, vamos a avanzar. And then we say that for today we are going to start together the lesson objective number five that says, by the end of this class you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. So basically, what do we have in the platform is a conversation and vocabulary using the expression, what time is it there? Esto es equivalente a decir, ¿qué horas son ahí, verdad? ¿Qué hora es ahí? So 
Eh, imagine that um, we are in another country, que estamos en otro país. So you ask, what time is it there? ¿Qué horas son allá, verdad? So let me uh, show you just the forum. This is the discussion forum where you can go and ask or even share. Ahí podemos ir y compartir, verdad? Okay, this includes the 5.2 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer questions using time expressions and practice given the time, okay? Vamos a practicar, ¿verdad? Esta, esta noche, tonight. So, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Remember that this is a question, so you have to give the proper intonation of a question. Recordemos que esa es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, como es una pregunta, tenemos que hacer la entonación correcta de pregunta. So, here you have different examples. It's 2 o'clock. It's 2.05. It's 2.15. It's 2.30. It's half past two, it's 2.40, it's 20 to three, it's a quarter to three, or it's 2.45. Remember that when we have, cuando tenemos el 0x, ¿verdad? 0.5, antes del 10, 0.1, 0, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.8, 0.9, decimos O, O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, O7, O8. 8 o 9, ¿verdad? Ese O es 0 cuando damos la hora, cuando decimos la hora. Ok, so let me just continue. And here we are going to complete this knowledge check once we advance. Una vez avancemos, ¿verdad? Con el ejercicio vamos a trabajar esta parte. Ok, so let me stop here. Vamos a parar acá and let me open. Vamos a abrir eh, la presentación que tengo para ustedes. Remember that um, this presentation is for you to practice and for you to speak. Okay, so this is your chance. Esta es su oportunidad, ¿verdad? Para que podamos compartir y hablar. To practice our speaking. So let me just open and share. Ok, just wait a minute for me, please. Solo denme un segundo que se abra. Ahí está. Ok, so I'm going to start saying that we have different time zones. Tenemos diferentes usos horarios. Lo que en español sería usos horarios, en inglés we say time zones, ok? This is the world clock, el reloj mundial. And if you see, we have different uh, meridians. We start with the Greenwich Meridian over here, right? The zero zone. And then you start counting. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, más uno, más dos, más tres, más cuatro, ¿verdad? Or minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, menos uno, menos dos, menos tres, menos cuatro. If you see here, we have, uh, in Central America, we don't have a different scale schedule or a different time zone from south part of Mexico to Costa Rica. Okay, vean que de la parte sur de México hasta Costa Rica, we are in the same meridian. Estamos en el mismo eh, meridiano, ¿verdad? That's why we have the same eh, eh, time zone. Tenemos el mismo uso horario. It just changes one hour eh, from Panama on, y cambia, ¿verdad? De Panamá hacia abajo, ¿verdad? Y va cambiando a medida, el meridian it's moving, a medida nos vamos moviendo de meridian. So here you have like a demo of the different time zones in the world. But basically it's in countries like United States and Canada and any other big countries that have different uh, time zones that you can see. For example, Eastern time zone is the yellow part of the U.S. The central time zone is here. The mountain time zone is the green one. The Pacific time zone is the blue one. And the Alaska time zone is the pink one. And we have the Hawaii time zone over here. Okay, but teacher, what, what it has to do with the time? Okay, tonight we are going to learn how to say the time. Esta noche vamos a aprender cómo vamos a decir la hora de diferentes maneras, ¿verdad? So, we are going to divide the clock 
Sabemos que clock es el reloj de pared, ¿verdad? Y watch es el reloj de la mano. The one that you use in your wrist, en la muñeca, ¿verdad? So, eh, in the first part, en la primera parte, you say five minutes past, ¿verdad? Ten minutes past. Here you can say a quarter past. So you use the expression past plus eh, the time, ¿verdad? Dice eh, el, los minutos que pasan de y luego la hora. Let's imagine that this is 12. Imaginémonos que la hora son las 12, ¿verdad? Yo digo, it's, it's five minutes past 12. It's 10 minutes past 12. It's a quarter past 12. It's 20 minutes past 12. It's uh, 25 minutes past 12. Cuando llego a la mitad yo digo half past. Half past. La L no me suena en ese caso. Yo digo half. Ok. What happened later? After, here you have two ways. Aquí también podemos, quiero detenerme en la primera mitad. Aquí podemos decir también it's 12.05. Son las 12.05, ¿verdad? Or it's 12.10, it's 12.15, it's 12.20, it's 12.25, it's 12.30. Esa sería la segunda forma de decir ese mismo, esa misma hora, ¿verdad? In the second half of the clock, en la segunda parte del reloj tenemos, we can continue using past, podemos utilizar, seguir continua, eh, continuar utilizando la expresión past plus hour, or use minutes to, ¿verdad? Utilizar la expresión minutes to. So you say, it's 25 minutes to, or it's 35 minutes past. Cuando decimos minutes to, entonces ya no mencionamos la hora actual, sino la hora a la que nos estamos moviendo, ¿verdad? La siguiente hora. 20 minutes to, 40 minutes past. A quarter to. O también podemos decir 45, ¿verdad? En este caso. 10 minutes to, 15 minutes past. 5 minutes to, 15 minutes past. ¿Ok? So here, I would like that you can take a picture of this. Me gustaría que tomen una imagen, ¿verdad? De ese eh, clock, de ese reloj. I'm going to send it to you now. Se lo voy a enviar ahora. If you can have a screenshot, it's going to be okay. And now, this is the time for you to practice. So we have eight different uh, clocks and we have eight different questions. What time is it in Moscow? What time is it in New York? What time is it in London? What time is it in Tokyo? What time is it in Istanbul? What time is it in Sydney? What time is it in San Francisco? What time is it in Wellington? Okay? So, I'm going to invite you to go to the breakout rooms and what I expect from you is that you can ask and answer at least two questions per participant. Vamos a trabajar en los grupos pequeños y lo que yo espero es que por lo menos se dividan las preguntas y que cada participante pueda al menos responder, hacer, formulate, or say two questions, decir dos preguntas and answer two questions y responder dos preguntas. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? Yes or no? No. Okay, so let me stop sharing and let me invite you to the breakout rooms. Okay, let's create the rooms. Let's join us. Unámonos. Okay, Roxana, Henry, Elena, María, do you have problem joining? Si tenemos dificultad uniéndonos, me avisan y yo les reenvío la invitación, ¿verdad?
Hello, Maria. Do you have problem joining? Hola, hola. Quienes tengan problemas uniéndose me avisan y con mucho gusto yo les reenvío la invitación, ¿verdad? Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Ahí sería. Iris, no sé si vio la otra imagen donde decía. Puede decir Iris o It is. Put it a water pass. Hello, may I help you? Primera, ¿verdad? Do you have questions? Sí. Hello. Hola, tenemos. Teacher, para... adelante. Sí, para la, para la respuesta sería. It is a time of school o y la hora o cómo. Solo, no sé solo la hora. Por ejemplo, what time is it in ah. school? Entonces la respuesta es it is y veo la hora y digo it is 3.10. Son las 3.10. Ah, okay. Si usted quiere le agrega ah, okay. p.m. o a.m. p.m. o a.m. Ah, okay. O puede ah, okay, decir okay. it's 10 minutes past 10. Son 10 minutos pasadas las 10. Puede utilizar las dos formas. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias, teacher. Excelente, you're welcome. See you in a minute. Lo veo unos minutitos. Ok. Hello, my dear Elena, María, and Claudia. If you, and David, if you have problem joining the groups, you can uh, stay here and work together using the chat. Si ustedes tienen problemas para unirse al grupo por el internet, pueden quedarse en el aula principal. Y trabajar, ¿verdad? Utiliz haciendo uso del recurso del chat por si también tienen problemas con el audio. I will be moving around because I need to check the other group's work, but I would like to invite you to practice. Les invito a que practiquen, ¿verdad? Como se pueda. Ok. Oh, hello, is everything okay? May I help you? Hola, hola, ¿cómo van? Uh, good hey, teacher, hey. ya. Excellent, excellent, very good. I will be. Ya estoy moviendo, estoy moviendo cómo rebasaste. Excellent, great job. I call you back in a couple of minutes. Lo llamo hey. en unos minutos, ¿ok? Okay, excellent, okay. okay. you're welcome. Minute past eight. Eight? Eight ten? Eight ten minute eight, past. Eight ten eight, minute ten. past. Sería eight ten unit. Minute. Porque si no sería, sería ten minute past eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Okay. Ten no. minute, no. Eight ten minute past. Así. Mi, minutes. Repitamos, chicos. Repitamos juntos. Minutes. Minutes. Minute. Yes. Minute. Minutes minute. past. Minutes minute past. Eight, eight, ten, eight, ten minute past. Mm, sería eight, eight, eh, eight. eight past. Eh, a ver. No, no sería ten minutes, ten minutes, ten, ten minutes past, past eight. Ah. Yes, ten minutes past eight. Tienen la forma oh, de decir. O eight, ten minutes. Ya, yeah, excelente. Tienen la forma de decir eh, tantos minutos pasadas las X horas, que sería 10 minutes past 8. Eight. Eight. O decir la hora y los minutos. 8, 10 minutes. Ajá, y minutes. 8, 10 minutes. A.M. o P.M. Uh -huh. Ok, eight, ten minutes. Yes. Excelente. Ok, 10 minutes past 8. Ajá. 
Hello, hello. Can you hear me, my dears? Hola, hola. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Hello. Ok, David, you can work by yourself. Ustedes pueden también practicar ustedes, ¿verdad? Si les cuesta por la conexión. I understand that. No problem. But I would like that you can practice by yourself. Me gustaría que practiquen, ¿verdad? Entre ustedes. Ok, excellent. I'll call you back. I'll come back in a minute. Voy a regresar en unos minutitos. I'm visiting the groups. Hello. How is it going here? Is everything okay? ¿Cómo vamos por aquí? ¿Todo bien? Sí, ahorita está practicando con Henry, pero tiene bastante interferencia, casi no se le escucha. I know. Maybe you can uh, write through the chat. Tal, tal vez pueden interactuar por el chat. If no, you don't worry. You do what you can, okay? What you can. Okay. Como ustedes puedan, ¿verdad? Bueno. I call you back in a minute. En un minutito le llamo, ¿ok? Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, welcome back. People is coming from the practice. Ya estamos regresando de la práctica, ¿verdad? So we are going to see in the plenary session how was the exercise and the possible answers for these exercises. Okay, just wait for a couple of seconds. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos. So people is coming back. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Very good job. I was checking the groups and all of you were part actively participating. So that's good because you improve your speaking. Okay. I would like to ask a volunteer uh, to please, uh, I would like to have a, a volunteer team to please perform the short conversation to ask each other and say the time. Quiero pedir a un grupo voluntario que pueda eh, preguntar y decir la hora, ¿verdad? Una pregunta, una respuesta, ¿verdad? Eh, en dos, con dos miembros, ¿verdad? Del equipo. ¿Mi? Ok, please. Mike is yours. Adelante, el micrófono es suyo. Ok, Wilber o Merari. Okay. ok, ok. 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 Eh, what, what time is in Moscú? 10 minutes past three. Okay. And the other way, eh, la otra, y la otra forma de decirlo. Three, ten minutes. Okay. Three, ten minutes. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Now you, um, now you ask, my dear. Ahora usted pregunta, mi estimada, porque usted respondió. Hoy le toca a usted. What time is it in New York? Eight, ten minutes. Okay, it's eight, ten minutes. And what's the other, the other way to say it? La otra forma de decirlo? Ten, ten minutes past eight. Okay, eight. excellent team. Good job. Okay, I need another team uh, to talk about what time is it in London and what time is it in Tokyo. Necesito otros dos voluntarios para que podamos trabajar en London y Tokio. Ok, let's see. Vamos a ver si no vamos a hacer al, al azar, al Team Marín. Vamos a ver, Ibis. Ibis and Team, would you like to say? Eh, sí. Okay, please go ahead. Said, what time is in What time is it in London? Okay, can you hear us? Nos puede escuchar? It's them. Uh, it's them. Muni. Muni. Minutes. Minutes. Uh, 
Past one. Ok, and the other way to say it, y la otra forma de decirlo. Mm -hmm. One ten unit. It's one ten a.m. or p.m., ¿verdad? Right? Ok, thank you. Now you ask her. Ahora pregúntale usted a Ivy. What time is this? In Istanbul? What time is In Istanbul? A quarter past three. No, it's 3.10. Está al revés. Ajá. 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 And the other way to say it? Three ten. Three ten a.m. or p.m. Right? Okay. Very good team. Thank you. I need to volunteer to say what time is it in Sydney? In, in, I mean, in San Francisco and Wellington. Okay, do we have a three people team? Let's see. Maybe let's check. Wilber, have you participated, my dear? Okay, please. Oh, Jose. Okay, Juan Jose and Wilmer. Yes, make it short. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jose. Wait, I need it. Wellington. In Wellington. In Wellington. It is. Uh, it is. Twelve ten minutes. 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 Twelve minutes. ten minutes. Minutes. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. Uh, de la otra forma, uh, 10 minutes past 12. Ok. Excellent. Now you ask him. Ahora usted pregúntele a él. Uh, ok. ¿Cualquiera o ese mismo? Uh, no. San Francisco o Sydney. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál time you see it in Sydney? Sydney, ok. It, it is 10, 10 minutes. Oh, ten, ten minutes past ten. Okay, excellent, very good. Great job, my good. dear participants. Congratulations. Now, it's time for you to tell me. In the left side, I have some hours, and in the right side, I have the way to say it. So, how do you say the first? ¿Cómo se dice la primera? Veamos. Let's match. It's 20, it's 20 to, to six. 6. It's the first one, la primera, this one. Vamos a poner el, the spotlight on. It's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. Excellent. Estamos leyendo acá, perdón. Vamos a unir esta con la correcta. Quizás no me explique. Okay. We are going okay. to join the left uh, with the right side, ¿ok? Vamos a unir la respuesta correcta del lado izquierdo con el derecho. Ok, the second one. What time is it here? It's five, five minutes past, past 11. 11. It's five minutes past 11. Excellent. And in this one? Yes, 11. Okay. What time is it here? It's, it's quarter to seven. Right? <coughs> okay. Six forty-five or quarter to seven, como dice acá, ¿verdad? Okay. And here? What it's a quarter to seven. Okay. And what time is it here? It's 20 to 6. It, no, it, 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 it is 20 to 6. It's 20 to 6. Yeah, it's 20 to 6. Or you 20 can to say six. it's 540, it's right? 20 to 6. Yeah, yes. 20 to 6. Pero lo que está aquí es 20 to 6. Okay, and the last one, this one. What time is it here? It's half, it's half past nine. Okay, it's it half past nine. Half nine. Very nine. good. Half past nine. nine. Excellent. Very good. So now I'm going to stop sharing here. Vamos a, okay, let's continue. Continuemos aquí. Después vamos a ir a la plataforma to do the knowledge check. And then we are going to have the final speaking exercise. 
So again, vamos a seguir en la misma dinámica. Let's, let's join the left side with the right side. Okay, what time is it here? A quarter to six. A quarter to six. Okay, and here? What time is it here? Mm -hmm. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, and here, what time is it here? Let's see. 11.20 Okay, excellent. And what time is it here? Mm -hmm. A quarter past two. A quarter two. past two. Okay, very good. And here, what time is it here? Oh. 4 30 a.m. Okay, 4 30, yeah? Or half past four, right? Okay, and what time is it here? Mm -hmm. 9.55 Okay, 9.55. And here, what time is it here? 2.25 a.m. Okay, and here, what time is it here? 7 or 5 p.m. Okay. Here, what time is it here? 1 p.m. Excellent. 1 PM. And the number, and the last one, what time is it here? 10 past 10 p.m. 1 o'clock. Very good. Past Very good. Okay, remember that we have here this clock, and when you are here, you say o'clock. 1 o'clock. When you are here, you say past. When you are here, you can say a quarter past. When you are here, you say half past. Half past. Yes, and here you can say a quarter to. And then you continue saying 25 minutes to or, or 22 or a quarter to or 10 to or 5 to, okay? Okay, excellent. So before we go to the exercise, I'm going to stop sharing here and I would like to go to the platform because as I said before, we are going to work together. Como les dije antes, vamos a trabajar juntos la plataforma para que nadie se quede atrás. Eh, and then we can finish by Thursday. Okay, this is the 5.4 knowledge check and says, uh, look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Okay, so the number two. No, number one is already solved. La número uno ya está hecha, ¿verdad? Dice, what time is it? La respuesta es, it's 20 after 2 or it's 2.20. ¿Verdad? Esas son las dos posibles formas de decirlo. But here in the number two, it says, what time is it? And we have to... Uh, four choices. Aquí tenemos cuatro opciones, pero usted solo va a marcar dos que son las correctas. So, what time is it? It's 10 to 7, it's 10.35, it's 6.50, or it's 25 before 11. What time is it? ¿Qué hora it's 6.50. Okay, and the other way to say it? In la otra forma it's de decir? 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7, very good. Excellent. So if you want to have a picture or a screenshot, now is the time. Si usted le quiere tomar una foto, hacer una captura, you can do it now. Lo podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Okay. For you to have ready this exercise, para que ya lo tengan listo. Okay, let's see number three. What time is it? Look at the clock. What time is it? It's 9.45, it's 8.45, or it's a quarter to 10, or it's a quarter to 9. A quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. Quarter. Okay, and the other way to say it? In la otra it's 8.45. It's 8.45, okay, very good. So now you can have a screenshot. Podemos hacer la captura, ¿verdad? Es... Okay, let's move on to the number four. Vamos a hacer la número cuatro. What time is it? It's 5 after 11 or it's 11.05, it's 12.55 or it's 5 to 1. 
It's 11.05. Ok, and what's the other way to say it? ¿Cuál es la otra forma de decirlo? I fight to walk. Mm. It's five, five after eleven. Oh, no. Five yeah. after eleven. Okay. Five after eleven and eleven o five. Excellent. Okay. okay. You can have a screenshot there. Podemos tener una captura de pantalla ahí. For you to have the answer. Para que ya les quede la respuesta, ¿verdad? Okay. And the number five. What time is it? In number five. It's 4.15, it's 3.15, it's a quarter after four, or it's a quarter after three? It's a quarter, a quarter after, three. after three. Okay. okay. It's a quarter after three. And the other way to say it? In the other it's 3.15. 3.15. 3.15. 15. 15. Acuérdense de hacerme 15. ese 15. 15. 15. Porque si no, 15. si me dicen 50, me están diciendo 15. 50. ¿Sí? 15. Yes. 15. Ok, perfect. Ok, you can have a screenshot here. ¿Podemos hacer un screenshot ahí? Yes. Ok, excellent. So, uh, what time is it? It half post past four, it's 23 after six, it's 6.23 or it's 4.30. What time is it there? It's half four past four. four. Okay. Oh. And the second choice? It's 4.30. Four it's 4.30. Four 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 okay, let's check. Chequemoslo. Yes, you're right. Están en lo correcto, ¿verdad? Yes, that's yes. the way it is. Okay, excellent. Congratulations. So, 5.4 is already solved. So, el knowledge check 5.4, listo, ¿verdad? So, I'm going to stop sharing because I need that we come back to the class because I have a speaking practice for you. And now, I would like to ask you, what time do you get up? In my case, just an example, pero eso no es cierto, porque dichosa si me levantara at 7 o'clock, pero eso no es cierto. Ok, what time do you get up? At 5 o'clock. What time do you wash your hands? At 5.15 o'clock. Or at 5.15, ¿verdad? What time do you go to school or do you go to work? At, at 6 o'clock. At what time do you have lunch? At 12. Or puede ser at noon, ¿verdad? What time do you come home? At six o'clock. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and I would like that you can ask questions to your classmates using these expressions. Here I have more. Aquí tenemos más, ¿verdad? Okay. We are going to... Eh, vamos a tomar un screenshot de este porque necesito que utilicen la preposición, la preposición correcta, ¿verdad? At. Siempre que vamos a decir una hora, cuando vamos a responder con una hora, utilizamos la preposición at, ¿verdad? Y eso es como decir a las, ¿verdad? Y cuando vamos a responder con una eh, time, con una hora. Ok, so now let me go to the next. Ah, thank you, you already did it. Excelente, ya lo mandaron, pero igual se los mando, just to make sure, para asegurarnos, ¿verdad? I would like that you can have this exercise. And remember, um, cuando vamos a hablar acerca de una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Como está ahí en el ejemplo, decimos, what time does Jessica get up? Si se fija, cuando estamos hablando de una tercera persona, utilizamos what? el auxiliar does. What? Does. What time <coughs> does Jessica get up? ¿A qué hora se levanta Jessica? ¿Verdad? Utilizo das y el verbo me queda get up. Pero cuando voy a responder acerca de Jessica, yo digo, Jessica gets up at six o'clock in the morning. Vea, entonces aquí estoy utilizando la regla de la tercera persona singular para decir una afirmación acerca de Jessica. Jessica gets up at six o'clock in the morning. Y le agrego la letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? Y como es un verbo de dos palabras, se lo agrego al, a la primera parte del verbo. What time does she get up? Does she get up? What time does she get up? ¿A qué hora se levanta? Gets up. At seven. Jessica gets up at six o'clock, or you can say Jessica gets up at seven 
uh, o'clock in the morning, ¿ok? But now we are going to talk about you. Pero esta vez vamos a hablar acerca de usted, ¿verdad? So, the questions to talk about in the conversation is, what time do you get up? What time do you eat breakfast? What time do you go to school? Or go to work or go to university? What time do you have lunch? What time do you have dinner? What time do you go to bed? Okay, so now we are going to stop sharing and let's come back to the breakout rooms. Vamos a dejar de compartir y vamos a regresar a los grupos de trabajo. Vamos a silenciarlos, tienen razón, hay bastante interferencia. Thank you. Okay, let's, let's do the breakout rooms. Vamos a open the rooms. Hello, Elena, and hello, Claudita. Can you hear me? Elena and Claudita, ¿me pueden escuchar? Hola, hola. Hello. Okay, if you have a problem joining, si tenemos alguna dificultad, I can resend the invitation. Puedo reenviarles la invitación. Or you can work here by yourselves. O pueden trabajar acá, ¿verdad? You can even text using the chat. Pueden incluso textear utilizando el chat. What breakfast? Hello, hello. Is everything okay here? Todo bien por acá, chicos y chicas? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. I like to hear that. Me encanta escuchar eso. Okay, if you have questions, just let me know. I will be around. Voy a estar eh, recorriendo los grupos, ¿verdad? Si tienen preguntas, me pueden llamar. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Very fast. Um, eight a.m. in the morning. At eight a.m. Recuerden utilizar la preposición. Mm -hmm. At. 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 Yes. At. yes. Excellent. At. Very good. Do you Very have good. questions? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. Or is everything okay? Todo bien. Mm, good. Excellent. And I'll come back in a minute. Regreso en unos minutos, ¿ok? Ok. Continue practice. Eh, Thank you. Eh, ¿quién, eh, Marisol, ¿verdad? I go to, to work at uh, 8 o'clock. 
What time do you have lunch? I I have a lunch. Uh, uh, one one o'clock. What time do you have dinner? I have a dinner. Uh, Hello, hello, Claudita and Elena. Is everything okay? Hello. Hello. Is everything okay? Did you finish? <laughs> yes. yes. Excellent. Mm. Like it. Okay. I'll call you back in a minute. Ya ahorita le llamo en un minuto. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello. How is it going? Did you finish? ¿Cómo vamos? Terminamos. Uh, about uh, the complete excellent like it i call you back in a minute i have a question teacher yes please tell me por ejemplo solo reconfirmando cuando decimos eh, por ejemplo ocho y media eight de la mañana eight thirty a.m eight thirty in the morning or half past eight a.m half past eight half past yes okay y siempre con el p.m o p.m Sí, de preferencia, para que la gente sepa, ¿verdad? Eh, que estamos hablando, perdón, de la mañana o de la tarde. Half past, half, half past eight, ¿ok? Yes, ok, excelente. Uh -huh. Solo recuérdense que este half, la L no suena, ¿verdad? Es half. Exacto, half, half past. Excelente. Half past. Ok, call you in a minute. I Hello, hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? We are now in the plenary session and now we are going to discuss about the questions we have to practice in the breakout rooms. So I would like to ask some volunteers to ask and answer questions like in the second, like in the first exercise. Como en el primer ejercicio, voy a pedir voluntarios para que me ayuden a contestar y responder, eh, responder, perdón, preguntar y responder that to ask and answer questions. Okay, who wants to start? Vamos a ver, ¿quién quiere comenzar? Me. Okay, please, Wilber. Como please. sea. Okay, go ahead, okay. adelante. Perfect. Wait, they, what day do you, do you get out, Jose? At seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Ok, now you ask him, Wilbert. Ahora usted pregunte. Uh, what time do you eat breakfast? At 8 o'clock in the morning. 
Very good. Thank you, team. Ok, who else was in, in your team? ¿Quién más estaba en el equipo? Solo eran ustedes dos. Mer Merari. No, Merari. Okay. Merari. Marisol. Okay. En Marisol. Okay. Can you work uh, you two? ¿Pueden trabajar entre ustedes dos? Perfecto. Ok, please. Eh, Marisol, what time do you to school? Go to school. What time go to school? Mm -hmm. Or go to work, o vas a trabajar, ¿verdad? Go to work. At four o'clock in the afternoon. Ok, excellent. Now you ask her. Ahora usted pregúntale a ella, Merari. Ok, what time do you have lunch? At one o'clock. Ok, excellent. At one o'clock in the afternoon, you can say. Pueden utilizar esa palabra, ¿verdad? In the afternoon, ya por la tarde. Ok, uh, thank you, my dear team. I need two volunteers to complete the uh, last two questions. Necesito otros dos voluntarios para completar las últimas dos preguntas. Ok, let's see, vamos a ver quién es, de quiénes eh, podemos pedirles. Vamos a ver. Eh, Daniela, Dani Chacón. Ok. <coughs> eh, eh, time do you have dinner? Ok, who was your classmate? ¿Con quién estaba trabajando, Dani? Roxana en Lourdes. Ok, Roxana o Lourdes, who wants to answer? What time do you have dinner? Me, I have dinner uh, Night o'clock? At nine o'clock. Okay, nine. very good. Nine. Mm, nine. Okay, excellent. Now you ask her. Ahora usted pregúntele a una de ellas, de preferencia a la compañera que no ha participado todavía. Okay, Roxana. Uh -huh. What time do you go to bed? Roxanita, what time do you go to bed? No sé si nos escucha Roxana, pero si no la otra compañera tal vez si nos responde la pregunta What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at, at midnight. At midnight. Ok, very good. That's another way to say midnight or 12 a.m., ¿verdad? Como a las 12 de la mañana de la a.m. That's midnight. Eso es medio medianoche, ¿verdad? Y noon es las 12 pero del día, ¿verdad? The time for lunch. And normalmente el tiempo del almuerzo, ¿verdad? Ok, I would like to ask, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí. ¿Verdad? Remember that... Eh, To say the time is not only what time is it. Normalmente preguntamos qué hora son utilizando la expresión what time is it. Pero también preguntamos acerca de horas y esperamos respuestas de horas cuando decimos what time do you get up? What time do you wash your hands? What time do you go to school? Or what time do you go to work? What time do you have lunch? What type time do you come home? So whenever you, they ask you or somebody else asks you what time, you always have to provide an answer with the preposition at, at seven o'clock, at half past 10, at eight o'clock, at one o'clock, at six o'clock. Okay, today we have studied that here at this point of the clock is o'clock, past, a quarter past, half past, a quarter two, and two. And uh, here, right? Five minutes past, 10 minutes past, a quarter past, 20 minutes past, 25 minutes past, or half past. And we conclude saying that in the second part, we can say two ways also. 20 minutes to or 35 minutes past. 20 minutes to or 40 minutes past. A quarter to, 10 minutes to, 50 minutes past, Five minutes to 
uh, excuse me, 55 minutes past, okay? And o'clock. Okay, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? Okay, if you don't have questions, I just invite you to please go and complete the platform. Si no tenemos preguntas, les invito a que vayamos y avancemos con la plataforma, ¿verdad? And I hope to see you here tomorrow in order to continue advancing and conclude section number five, okay? Have a good night and have a good rest, and I hope to see you tomorrow here, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.